I'm joined by the lovely Casey Ainsworth. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having me. It's been amazing. Absolutely. Um, so you were one of the judges this evening. I was. I was. It's a great thing to be a judge um, because you have the privilege of watching other people's work. I mean, um, I've been working a lot this year, so I haven't been able to see as many films as I like to see. So it was just wonderful to have this opportunity to see some new filmmakers and some uh, and some really interesting um, subject matters and you know some films with no speaking in them at all. I mean, just amazing, amazing creative people you have out there making independent films these days. It's wonderful. Oh, do you work on many independent films yourself? Yeah, I do, yeah. So I had um, uh, one film that I that I just finished called uh, We the Kings, one at Rain Dance Film Festival. That's incredible. It's Yeah, it's really amazing. Um, and that's going to obviously go to wider distribution now. Um, and then I've got a, sh uh, a film coming out on um, Sky Arts called Hunting to Gardens. Um, I've also got a, a Ken Loach movie um, coming out um, called Lynn and Lucy, which I've just finished is a kind of more devised film. And I think I've made about four shorts this year. Oh. So how do you pick a, a good short to work on? Is it it's just based on the script and the character? Yeah, it's based on the script and the character. And um, also when you meet the director and the creative people, you know if you're going to click and you're going to get on and it's going to be um, a really nice thing to work on. And, it, and sometimes um, you want to do something that's a challenge and other times you want to do something that you've just never done before. And I think you get more of that opportunity with an independent film to break out of your um, of your nightcast. Yeah, yeah. They, if you you are in such a thing, yeah. but they will they prepared to allow you to, to break out of that. Um, oh, and I've also got another one called um, which has just won a screenplay award in LA. Um, it's called Odilo Fabian and the Possibility of Impossible Dreams. It's an amazing title. It's a great film. It's Hugh Bonneville, myself, Isabel Allen. Um, so yeah, I've made loads. that sounds amazing. I just didn't stop. This year. We're only in January. I know. Well, no, it's not yeah. this year. Yeah, last year. No, I'm with you. I'm still. I'm still there. No, I'm still in 2018. Totally. Totally. <laughs> um, so what was it like being a judge? Like, with, do you, was there one film that stood out for you? Um, Without naming names. Well, yeah, I can't, I can't really name names and I can't really explain it because otherwise then I'll give it away. Um, there, there was one in particular that I really loved. Um, and, um, and so, yeah, I, I'm hoping that will, I'm hoping that will win. And how important are award ceremonies, like in general, like, especially for up-and-coming filmmakers? I think they're massively important because it just gets your work out there, it gets it seen, it gets it seen on a global stage. Um, I, I think they're really important. They give uh, they give them abilities to then go on and make more films, um, and also sometimes um, you know it, it allows them to be creative in ways that you might not be able to if you were if, if you had a big house behind you, you know, or you had lots of executive producers involved, and they all decided what they can do you can be more autonomous in the in the decisions that you make with your film so yeah you have to be more creative because you just don't have the funny the money they just don't have the money and that creativity you take into your next job if you then go and get a, another st a studio film you will then take that creativity into there so it, it, it they are um, wonderful they're like having it's like having all these amazing ingredients and they put them together and make a beautiful salad <laughs> I like it a beautiful salad <laughs> Yeah, well, it is January, so we are cutting the carbs. Salad, yeah. <laughs> Boots. We've been making pie. Exactly. Um, do you have any aspirations to, to write or direct one yourself? Um, I've thought about writing for a, lot, for a long time, but I don't have any time because I'm always busy as an actress. Um, no, oh, that's, you can't complain about being busy as an actress. No, I can't complain. I really can't complain. But, um, but no, not directing ever. I couldn't direct ever. You say that, but you've had so much experience just being on set. Yeah, but I, I wouldn't want to direct. Um, I, I, I can sometimes, you ask my family, I can sometimes be a bit bossy. So possibly, possibly producing, but no, I don't even think I've got the, uh, the wherewithal for that. Um, but definitely, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sticking to what I know best. I've been doing this since I was eight. I, can't well, I, think, I think you're doing pretty well. Absolutely. So um, what are you working on now? Obviously, you, people, a lot of people know you very well from like EastEnders and things like that. What, what, what is it you're doing now and what aspirations? Do you have um, apart uh, so grand apart from the long list you've given us the long list of, that, of course yeah so so apart from all of the other films that I've made this year that I've just long list I've given you and boring boring you to death um, no not at all um, I'm, uh, Grantchester comes out tomorrow night uh, you 
you might not be so th it comes out on the 11th of January um, on ITV um, it will be shown here for the next six weeks and then um, it will be shown in the States on PBS um, that's incredibly exciting it's really exciting and, it, and it's got a massive audience in the States and I do actually think that's probably why um, I've had more films this year because um, it's it's got a really big following out there and of course James and Robson have a, have a huge both have big careers out there as well Robson's got a series um, and James obviously is making films out there so so again um, it's opened up a new audience for me which has been amazing that's incredible I wish you so much luck with that it's, it's been an absolute pleasure enjoy the evening I will I will <laughs> Casey ends with it of course it's gonna win I'll be like that yeah exactly give me the thumbs up thank you Casey it's a pleasure yes. thank you Thank you for watching the fan carpet. If you like this video, be sure to click that thumbs up button at the bottom of your screen. And also be sure to subscribe to the fan carpet YouTube channels. They're absolutely free. That's so much fun too. Be sure to check out the official website, thefancarpet.com. Also, you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram to stay up to date with reviews, competitions, the latest news, and so much more.